Alright, um, here we are with another Mega Man Maker episode. Today we'll be playing through Metal Man Sand Factory, created by Kusaki, with 32 plays and a score of positive 7. Or, you know, Guru Analytic slash Light Damon, you know, he's had many names <laughs> to this point. Hmm, yeah, so it has been some time since I sat down and played Mega Man Maker now. Uh, yeah, over a week ago. Now we're back for it, and I have played this stage in the past. Um, so I know a little bit about it. But I haven't actually played the finished stage. I've only played it in its... Um, you know, in the... <laughs> in the building stages or whatever, you know. When he was working on it uh, a long time back. And oh yes, <laughs> Protoman takes double damage, okay. But yeah, these screens looks fairly familiar here. I do recognize some of this here. And there should be a hot dog down here, yep. And we're going to have to try and time this. Yeah, yes. Just try and get a few hits in here and it should be no problem. <laughs> okay, very nice. You had some health. Oi, oi, oi. Wow. <laughs> I got a little bit lucky there. I just ran for it. Interesting. And we already have our first checkpoint here. Very nice. Or already. But there's quite a bit of <laughs> damaging enemies there, so. Yeah, I'm very glad to have the checkpoint. Oops! I tried jumping. Alright. And yeah, hopefully I don't sound too tired here. That's basically because I am. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Oh wow, it's been some time since I recorded now, so I just kind of had to do it, you know, even though I am a little bit on the tired side. Oh wow. <laughs> because yeah, I'll be busy for the rest of the weekend here, so yeah, now it's my time to play through some of your guys' stages, and I'm dead. <laughs> That's what happens when you just, ru just rush up ahead. You get caught off guard. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's try and... Nice. Yeah, as long as you don't take a bu whole bunch of hits, you know, from these potheads or hot... <laughs> potheads? <laughs> hotheads or whatever they are called. Um, we should be fine here. And yeah, I'm probably just going to take my time here as well. Uh, wow, that was, that was good. Okay, now here, let's just bait the flames. Okay, well. Well, no, okay, well, we still made it. <laughs> oh shoot, this is not good. Oh yeah, I knew it. Yeah. I don't think there is much you can really do there. Maybe you, you can activate the skull barrier to soak them. That is probably, you know, what you're supposed to do there, I believe. I mean, you can get lucky so that the flame doesn't just hit you there and, you know, you can have some gaps, you know, to jump uh, through there when the fire comes raining down. But if you don't, you definitely need to switch to the skull barrier to, you know, defend yourself, basically. A shame I failed to do so, you know, to demonstrate, but... Uh, oh yes, you you can make that jump, I think, but it's like a perfect pixel jump. <laughs> but yeah, I just tried it out there without the skull barrier because we, you know, we just got the checkpoint here, so yeah. You know, let's just try it again, or no, <laughs> let's let's not try it again and just uh, use the barrier there. Whoa, wow, I actually made it past that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I see. So, if the skull barrier gets shot here, we cannot stand on the spike. So you, you know, the challenge there is basically you need to get get by there fast, or you know, time it correctly so that the enemy doesn't undo your barrier. Yeah, I'm just going to keep. Wow. Okay, <laughs> that was a nice timing on the. Potton, potton, bark, whatever those enemies are called, you know, yeah, just, just as you pass by there, he appears, you know, so that the player really just has to uh, really hurry up there. <laughs> well, should I use the skull barrier before I made the jump? <laughs> well, lesson learned. Okay. Wow, they take so many hits. Yes, yeah, so I do see some repeat rooms here, but not not quite repeats. They are they are more dangerous. <laughs> I did I did not mean that as a negative thing. <laughs> it kind of came out like. Uh, but you know, we're seeing similar rooms like to the prior to rooms prior on in this stage, but they have been made, you know, more difficult by having the enemies a little bit closer and you know there are also spikes that you know, um, yeah. It basically ups the challenge of previous room, so to speak. Hmm, okay, um, let's just go now, very nice, and uh, yeah, and once again, like, another hothead, you know, and this time the treadmill goes towards the enemy and also towards a pit, so that's pretty interesting as well. Oh yeah, and this is where we slid to the right there, I believe, uh, I'm not 100% sure, <laughs> but I believe so. made that, look, <laughs> that room look very easy. Oh wait, this is kind of interesting, so what will happen here? Okay, so we shoot the barrier, we have to walk down here again, and then shoot the skull mat there, I see. So basically shoot, change, go back. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty neat. Pretty neat indeed, I have to say. <laughs> it's so nervous being on this one tile um, conveyor belt <laughs> blocks. So so very nervous, <laughs> nervous inducing. You basically just gotta jump as soon as you land. That makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, I'm. <sighs> I'm having a feeling I'm going to die soon, but yeah, so, uh, somehow I made it. <laughs> More than a feeling, you know. <laughs> Alright, um... Hmm. Well, that's that. Now we could be cheeky here and... One shot metal man with the proto shield. Oh, he's immune to the buster. Wait, yeah, he is. Hm, interesting. And yeah, we have the basically the same boss room, but um, Light Damon increased the 
damage the boss takes by the skull barrier, so you don't have to chase around him around for so long. I remember in the old version of the stage, you basically had to chase down Metal Man, and you know, there was an energy respawner in the room, and uh, yeah, you know, you dealt some damage to him, and you know, as the skull barrier was, you know, about drained, you could get to the energy refill inside the boss room and, you know, just restock, but... Okay. But I'm going to have to be a little bit more <coughs> careful here, I'm being way too... Uh, sloppy. <laughs> what playing here? Okay. Oops. You know what? Oops. Let's try it again. I, I don't really... I mean, I, I, I did not really have that, but... I would like to win with a little bit more style than that, <laughs> if possible. <laughs> uh, you know, not on the last pellets of health there. Oh, shoot, I walked into him. Yeah, you see, there is... Okay, once more. There is definitely a pattern to it, you know. Um, I just, uh, you know, accidentally walk into him there. But you can definitely do this flawlessly if you just have very precise walking, you know. Ouch. Yeah, like, I was too far to the right there. Okay, so that's how you do it, okay. So you just stay here to the left, go to the right, stay to the left, go to the right. If you're longer, or you know, if you're further away to the left there as Metal Man is in the air and throw his saw blade, you know, he will throw it, you know, obviously on the left side of the screen, so that way you have more room to dodge, you know, in between the saw blade and Metal Man himself when he jumps to the right there, so... Yeah. Pretty interesting boss, too. But yeah, uh, all in all, pretty interesting stage. Oh, pretty neat visuals, you know. Um, my favorite room, uh, as you probably would have guessed, would have to be that skull mat, you know, room where we had the buster barrier blocking the skull mat from falling down, you know, onto the lower platform there. And so once you shot it, you know, the conveyor belt would basically pull him on down there. And, you know, if you, you did not move out of the way and, you know, let the Skullmet hit you. I believe that deals 6 damage. And like on Proto Man that would have been 12 damage, so that would have been <laughs> quite devastating if you did not um, try to actually do that room properly. So yeah, that was pretty nice. Um, other than that, we had the conveyor belts and yeah, they definitely have, you know, a difficulty progression to, uh, to them, you know, starting, you know, being you know, long and, you know, towards the end they were, like, only one tile <laughs> short, so, yeah. Well, I, <clears throat> I, will just, I will just leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.